the new year and shedding the winter weather come spring resolutions to eat better, to lose weight, or simply just to be a better person. Did you know that the average lifespan of humans is now 80 years old? But the average age we tend to develop health symptoms like memory loss, achiness, depression, fatigue, or diabetes, or cardiovascular disease is commonly by the age of 50. So if you're good at math, or even if you're not good at math, you'll get that for 30 years we may be living with some form of discomfort or another. So we need to start making changes now. Welcome to Revive Life. I'm naturopathic Dr. Joelle, helping you restore health and revive your life. Our quiz for you today is number one, is water and the liver important for weight loss? Number two, snacking can help reduce cholesterol. Number three, we may have 30 years of health symptoms if we don't take care of ourselves. The first caller to call us at 613-759-8622 to answer this question, is water and the liver important for weight loss, will win this wonderful package donated by our guest today from the Nordic Spa, including goodies like a Nordic Spa Pass for two and a massage for two. What else could you want? Could black water be the answer? Stay with us and we'll find out exactly what black water is. Beginning our top 10 list of changes that do your body good is number one. Water, for sure, is my top 10 change that I recommend for you. Why? Drinking water helps, number one, weight loss. If you're dehydrated, the kidneys don't filter optimally and place an excess load on the liver. The liver is then less able to metabolize stored fat into usable energy and weight loss is slowed down or stops. So the answer to our Revive Life question is yes, water and the liver are important to weight loss. Number two, temperature regulation. 90% of the body's cooling ability is related to the evaporation of sweat. Other important health benefits of drinking optimal amounts of water include better energy, blood pressure, detoxification, and muscle tone with the prevention of sagging skin that usually follows weight loss as shrinking cells are filled with water, which plumps up the skin. The next question is how much water do we drink? Drink half your body weight in ounces per day to replace what we can lose, which can be as much as 10 to 15 cups daily. What that means is 12 cups if you're 200 pounds or six cups if you're 100 pounds. Active individuals want to make sure they're drinking more. Drink water and caffeine-free herbal teas. Consider keeping a BPA-free water bottle at your desk. Avoid fruit juices, pop, coffee, and caffeinated teas. Now, when should we drink all this water? One, upon rising for detoxification and digestion. Two, during exercise for rehydration. Three, after exercise for your organs and weight. Four, a half an hour before meals for digestion and absorption. Five, during work for oxygen. Number six, post-workout or post-work for your joints. And number seven, before a bath for your blood pressure. And lastly, before bed for more detoxification. As for the quality of water, we do know that there are 35,000 pesticides containing 600 chemical compounds, yet municipal water systems are only required to test for six. Consider using reverse osmosis water and or a home filtration water system. For more on the quality of water, visit revivelife.ca. Now what about this black water? Black water is a new designer water from 80 million year old deposits deep in North American Rockies, rich in fulvic and humic acids. It contains natural electrolytes, 77 trace minerals, antioxidants, and it has an alkaline pH of eight. So if you want a different twist to drinking your water, black water is one of the newest options. Cheers. My second tip for health is actually snacking. We run marathons every day, so ensure you keep your body fueled. Today our snacks for you are fun, yummy, and energizing. Who doesn't love pizza? Number 40 on our 101 Revive Life Snacks is Roasted Tomato and Arugula Pizza Minis. This one has pesto as a base, then has roasted tomatoes, onions, 
Dea, which is a cheese alternative, and arugula, which is rich in chlorophyll, antioxidants, and helps our liver detox. Number 41, raw veggie pizza minis. This has the equivalent to a cup of mixed vegetables, which top the nutrient list. Start with a base of veggie mayo, then add sprouts, peppers, shredded carrots, radish, snow peas. Really, any veggie will work. Welcome back to Revive Life. I'm naturopathic Dr. Joelle, continuing our countdown. My sixth tip for changes that do your body good is to eat well. The top five food changes that can improve longevity are, number one, reduce your food intake by one fifth. All health conditions are impacted by weight. Excess weight increases the risk of Alzheimer's, diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular disease, and arthritis. So to live longer, eat lighter. Number two, eat a primarily plant-based diet, consuming animal-based products as a condiment. The China study headed by Dr. Colin Campbell showed a correlation to higher animal food consumption and lifestyle diseases. Other researchers have shown similar results. Try and focus on eating fish, beans and legumes, nuts and seeds, vegetables as your primary sources of protein. Number three, eat at least 40 grams of fiber. Fiber helps to cleanse the body and is vital for intestinal health. Number four, keep salt intake to less than a half a teaspoon a day or less than 1200 milligrams of sodium a day. Excess sodium is related to the increased risk of heart disease. And number five, keep sugar intake to less than 12 grams a day. Many sports drinks, carbonated drinks, and high sugar juices contain at least 20 grams with colas topping the chart at 39 grams per 12 ounce can. Sugar increases the risk of all lifestyle diseases and significantly reduces immunity. Now, have you been wondering about the raw food craze? Our next guest is someone who lives as a raw food specialist. She offers classes and consultations about raw and vegan foods here in Ottawa. Welcome, Sarah May Ives. Oh, thank you so much for having yeah. me. I was attracted to you instantly when I met you at the health fair because oh, there you. you were whirling away these beautiful, uh, delicious tasting beverages. Oh, thank you. For those people that don't quite understand, what is eating raw foods predominantly? Okay, so mainly when you're eating a raw food diet, you're eating a lot of fruits, veggies, nuts, and seeds, and then some oils like olive oil or flax oil and avocados. And what is the benefit? Why should we consider doing this? Um, the biggest draw for me, at least, is longevity. So when you're pumping your body full of vitamins, minerals, and live fresh foods, it increases your lifespan and it reduces the chances that you're going to get chronic diseases. Um, a huge draw is that you're going to have more energy, you're going to feel better. So it's really excellent. I think that's really a, a very strong motivating point. I know that in um, Total Health's most recent um, magazine, they had uh, Carol Alt and they were interviewing right. her. Okay. And she's a big, strong uh, proponent and supporter of the raw food movement. That's right. Yeah. And she was asked, well, why did you choose to go raw? And what she was saying is, of course, she had to be in bikinis and things like right. that. Yeah. And they were saying that she just wasn't looking the way she should. And she changed to raw food. And then instantly she felt better and, yeah. again, um, you know, know uh, felt better in a bikini but really more energy that was the big key thing yeah it's true and it's excellent for weight loss too yeah, yeah. and I would um, also believe that when when you are blending down all these wonderful nutrients mm -hmm. your body's able to access them a lot easier as well that's absolutely true and it's also the reason why um, a lot of people that are healing from a chronic illness um, they do turn to raw foods because it is easier on our systems it's kind of um, instant um, vitamins minerals that we don't have to work too hard for is it a balanced menu do people get enough vitamins and minerals on this type of a program? Yes, by far. In Thank fact, you. they stand to get more vitamins and minerals than most people that are eating a standard American diet by a long shot. Okay. Yeah, dark leafy greens have about 30% protein in them too, so... That's what a people lot of, forget, yeah, right? Yeah, because again, yeah. When, when people think about proteins, they think about meat, of course. Yes, that's um, right. But of course, vegetables do provide a great source of protein. It's true. Yeah. You have these beautiful beverages here, so what are Thank we going to make today? Okay, so we'll start off by making a green smoothie. So when I'm talking to people about starting with raw foods, I usually recommend a green smoothie because it's by far one of the easiest ways to start off um, with more fruits and veggies in your diet. Okay. So. And how, how do we make this? Okay, so as you see here, we have a few ingredients. We have mangoes, raspberries, um, some kale, mm -hmm. and then also some lemon juice. So that's just going to enhance the flavor, um, much like some salt might, okay. uh, without the sodium. Good, that's a great so. tip. 
So, so what do we want to start with? Okay, so let's start with our fruit with the mangoes. Okay. So generally speaking, you want to do about 60% fruit to 40% greens. So that's a good rule of thumb to start with. If you find that still a little bit too hard to take, then you just want to decrease the amount of greens. And what happens is over time, you can actually decrease the amount of fruit and increase the amounts of green, and you won't really notice it. Great, because that's much. what we want to promote too. We want to yeah. promote the fact that uh, uh, we have ways that we can progress people into these types of programs. Exactly, yeah. So um, I'm just going to throw it into the blender, just uh, about four or five leaves of kale. Okay. These look um, a little bit different than what you typically see in your grocery store. This That's is a right. different variety of kale? It is, actually. Yeah. It's lacinato kale or black kale. Um, it's just a different variety that I tend to prefer. Um, it's just sort of a, a preference, but curly kale is just as nutritious. Sure. It looks yeah. just a, maybe a little bit softer. Yeah, and it's yeah. sometimes called, it's called dinosaur kale, too, because you can see the texture. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, great. So you put that in. Yeah, and now we're going to just add a, a few um, mint leaves as well. That just is a, a great flavor that I really like. I like to also encourage people to add herbs because what they uh, also forget is herbs are dark green. They're really rich in calcium. So, yes, that's right. And again, exactly. it adds more punch of flavor. Exactly. And then your lemon. Yes, so the lemon. So just a little squeeze of lemon will uh, bring out the flavor. So always roll your lemon like that just to open up the juices. Okay. And then this is my fancy lemon juicer. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Where can you get uh, one like this? Oh, I just got this at CA Parity. It's just okay. a local kitchen shop. Okay, that's um, beautiful. So at, yeah, you don't have to look too far for it. So just a little bit of lemon to taste. Mm -hmm. And then just um, some water. So between okay. one to two cups of water, you might want to add more water at first when you first start making green smoothies. Because sometimes people prefer not having such a thick smoothie. That's correct, so. yeah. Okay. So we'll put the lid on nice and tight. And then we'll just blend. Okay. That looks beautiful. Now, why should we be eating kale? Why is it so important and such a great superfood? Okay, yeah, I, I'm glad you said superfood because it is truly one of the original superfoods. It's yes. so packed full of vitamins, minerals, um, amino acids, so the protein that we need. It's also packed with fiber um, and phytonutrients and enzymes. So it's really just, it's like the spark of life. Gotta go get so, some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, that looks beautiful. Thank you. So <laughs> it's uh, actually a little bit reddish because of the raspberries, but mm -hmm. it's quite delicious and it, it tastes actually like fruit. So, would you like to have a taste? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, also as well, we also like to give people other ideas on how they can use the superfood. So, two other ways to spin the kale. What else could you do? Oh, right. So, um, what I have here is a salad. Now, this, um, what I've done with this kale is I've sliced it up in fine ribbons. So, it's really not that hard. You just have to roll up the kale and then just do some fine ribbons or just roughly chop it. And then what you do is you actually massage it with a little bit of salt. And what the salt does is it breaks down the cell walls. So it gives it sort of a cooked feel to it. So it's a really great way to eat a kale salad. Okay. So um, the kale here is quite tender and delicious. Okay. And then again, yeah. hence it being raw. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've added some hemp hearts too, which are um, a lot of people love them on a raw diet because they're a complete protein. Yeah. Um, they're also a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. You probably know. Yeah. So um, and then some tomato. You can also add some avocado to the salad to make it nice, rich, and creamy. Okay. So that's one way. And then my other favorite way to uh, consume kale would be juicing. Oh, so yes. um, I use a Breville juicer. I do recommend that one because it's um, it's a great price and it's a really great brand as well. So um, if you can people juice. can find this at most local kitchen yeah. stores. Yes. Even okay. places like Farm Boy I find are now carrying Breville juicers for oh, about $99. Right? Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. So um, if you can juice a few times a week, it's just an instant shot of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. A great thing that I like to do is actually prepare some of these at the beginning of the week and then just have them, um, with the weather being the way it is, just leaving them outside and grab a jar to go. Yeah. I know that typically you should make them up fresh and have them fresh, yes, but yeah. they almost freeze. And then Great. that way, um, uh, again, just trying to be efficient, it's yeah. a good option. That is. Now yeah. that looks beautiful. For our people who don't want to give up their red wine, what do yeah. we have to say about that? <laughs> 
Um, this, well, in the wine glass, it's a wonderful substitute. Yeah. Um, you don't have to, of course, give up uh, red wine. There's a lot On of raw, raw diet, foods. right? Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of raw yeah. foodists who, who claim that it is a living food, so <laughs> they do enjoy it every once in a while. So sure. there's nothing saying Everything that you can't moderation. have fun. Yeah. But I think what um, you're take, we're going to uh, help you take home today is that when you plate food beautifully, um, for example, using wine glasses to have yeah. your juices, it just looks so great. How can you not want it? And how yes, can you not yeah. like it? It's so true. Um, yeah. With kids, do you have any tips on how to introduce these things to kids? So green smoothies are a fabulous way to start um, kids on green smooth on uh, the raw food diet or just a little bit of more fruits and vegetables. Um, especially if you're dealing with older kids, I would recommend using an opaque glass so they can't really see the color at first. Right. Yes. And start with more fruit to begin with, and then over time, like I said, increase the greens. So that's yeah. wonderful, Sarah. Thank you yeah. so much for all this great information. We're going to have more on all of this coming up. <laughs> uh, don't forget our next superfood is can an apple a day actually keep the doctor away? So stay with us. We've got lots more and uh, we're going to answer all your questions. Our next show coming up is on nutrition and we're going to answer all your questions on foods versus supplements and facts or myths about nutrition. So stay with us.